I think that institutes like the summer school are tremendously important, and I think the geographical location of the institute is tremendously important. So much of queer theory is associated with the United States. Uh, I mean, so much of queer theory is associated with the United States that even though much of the impetus for queer theory in the United States came from certain French writings, queer theory is still conceptualized in France as an American import. So that to have people thinking about queer theory in geographical locations where the struggles for uh, forms of sexual expression are at are differently developed from where they are currently in certain Western democracies is absolutely essential. There is, of course, also, as with everything, a danger. And that danger is not one to be feared, but one to be recognized, and sometimes even one to be embraced. The danger is that uh, in producing local upsurges of queer theory, one will re-fetishize the local itself, re-fetishize the location, re-fetishize a version of nationalism and thus produce in the name of some anti-colonial project a sort of privileging of the authentic queer theory of, the, of Eastern Europe or of the Balkan region as opposed to the um, dominating imperialist queer theory of the Western democracies. And I say that that's a danger because it returns us to identitarianism in a way that presupposes that there's some purity of origin. Uh, and this purity of origin is, of course, the most destructive fantasy of all. Because there is no such thing as a pure culture. And it is the, the fantasy of protecting the purity of culture that ultimately is going to be what produces, as objects of abjection, queers themselves.